hello my lovely people this is mabel again welcome back to my kitchen in today's video i'll be showing you how to make the perfect nigerian fried rice the fail proof method perfect for family meals or parties without further ado let's get right into it but first please click the red subscribe button to subscribe to my youtube channel so you get notified every time i upload a new video thank you now that you've done that let's get started now to the ingredients first is the basmati rice i like to use the traditional basmati rice it cooks in about 10 to 15 minutes it doesn't get soggy it's just perfect for fried rice or jollof rice next the mixed vegetables i'll be using some frozen mixed veg also i like to use fresh carrots um some yellow bell peppers i'll be using one scotch bonnet one onion i prefer the white onion even though i'm showing you the red then i'll be using some bay leaves now white pepper curry thyme seasoning cube and salt and finally some chicken stock and vegetable oil i'll be using olive oil also you can add some fried meats in form of um, liver or beef or fried chicken so i'll be using a little bit of fried beef and chicken I enjoy making this rice i put a lot of love into it and that is the most important ingredient now let's get started first you want to add some vegetable oil to the saucepan and put in the already washed rice now it's important to wash your rice um some hours before you plan to start cooking so wash the rice just leave it in the strainer let all the water drain away let it dry um before it's ready for cooking so i'm going to fry till it's light brown this process took me about seven minutes so I've, i'll be frying um while my cooker is on medium i don't want it to get burnt now i'll be adding some thyme and after that i'll add some curry and the chicken stock seasoning cube and salt and i'll cover it to cook Depending on the amount of meat stock you have, you can also add some hot water if necessary. Now, the way to estimate the amount of water you need is if you're cooking, for example, a cup of rice, then you need about three to four cups of water for it to cook. I'm also add the bay leaves and the white pepper and then cover this to cook for about 15 minutes. set aside the rice when it's tender don't overcook the rice anyway because of the frying we did earlier the rice is unlikely to become soggy okay so that's why the frying at the beginning is really really important now let's prepare the vegetables
the rice is really really tasty in fact without adding any more ingredients any vegetable you can enjoy the rice the way it is but no we have to finish the process so let's prepare the vegetables so i've already cut the peppers um carrots onions um now it's time to fry the veg remember i did not add any onion to the rice this is the second tip to make sure the rice doesn't go bad after a few hours the first tip is the frying of the rice and the second tip is don't put in any onions while cooking the rice now to fry my veg i just add a tablespoon of vegetable oil to the saucepan some people like to use a lot of oil but this is not healthy for you this is not good for our body so i like to use less oil to cook generally now add onions and fry for two to three minutes next i'll be putting in the carrots i'm putting in the carrots first because um the fresh carrots needs a little bit of time to cook unlike the mixed vegetables So I just fried the carrots with the onion for another two to three minutes. Now I'm putting in the mixed vegetables. See, I'm putting the vegetable from the strainer. I try to avoid um, any excess liquid while making this rice. So if you're using frozen vegetables like I am, I already pop in this vegetable into the microwave for two to three minutes. It will help this to defrost and also extract the water. So you want the vegetables to be as dry as possible. Next, add the peppers. also add the fried meats be it um, fried liver or chicken or beef and um, put it in then add the seasoning and salt now you want all this to steam together for about two to three minutes so usually i just cover it the flavor so can infuse together now it's worthy to mention that frying the vegetables is an opportunity for you also to correct any mistakes and maybe over seasoning or saltiness of the rice so if you had that too much salt by mistake to the rice this is the time to correct it by just adding less salt to the vegetables now the vegetables and the meat is ready it's time to add the pre-cooked rice now put in the rice bit by bit and just fry with the veg i enjoyed this process because i know once i start putting in the rice my fried rice is just few minutes away from being ready so you can put in the rice in the ratio 2 to 1, say double the amount of vegetables. Or you can make it ratio 3 to 1. But I love to see a lot of vegetables in my rice. So once I've added enough, if there's any leftover, I can keep it for later use. now my rice is ready finger licking fried rice this fried rice is not going to go bad if you leave it in your pot um if you don't keep it in the fridge it's just going to stay fresh now that you know how to make the perfect nigerian fried rice please make yours um leave a comment for me please tag me on instagram let me see the outcome of your rice thank you so much for watching please leave a like and make sure to share this video also don't forget to click that red subscribe button if you haven't done so also there's a bell button for notifications make sure to click on that as well see you in my next video it's mabel again bye bye